that's a good first date question. If if y'all haven't been on a, a first date, that's that's definitely one of the first things you should be. It's like, oh hey, what are you into? Oh, you know, I'm kind of kind of getting into uh, you know the paper mache. I've actually found it to be quite soothing in these troubling times. I'm like, oh, interesting, interesting. So so follow up question: um, Do you cry at night because of your father? And if so, can you cook? It's been a little while since we took uh, a trip down to see our good friend, the Golden One. That's right, the Skyrim Nazi. And I know you've missed him and his bulging muscles and his distaste for non-white people. But uh, I, I, th I feel like he, he needs to be back in our lives. All right, we need, we need to have him back and then let's, let's have ourselves a little... Uh, I don't even know how you put it. Um, uh, from a Valhalla something, I, I, don't, I don't know. Either way, yeah, let's... He's back. Looking quite glorious, if I may be so bold. Oh, you may. Oh, what a, what a great start. What a great start. Oh my, yes. Oh my, yes. Odd position, by the way. You got to angle yourself. I guess that would be... Oh, this way? No, it's, it's more this way. So yeah, you got, you got to be like this and just like... Time to film. Yes, children of Valhalla, prepare yourselves for the master race. Greetings, Laddingtons. This is just a quick video elaborating briefly on the cancel culture and uh, the king culture. Now, of course, as all of you know, most of you at least, this channel is the king culture channel. It's all about enlightening others, helping others, helping each other. It's not about desperately clinging to... As long as you're a white, then, then you are the king. ...to some sort of ideology and attacking people who say the wrong thing. It's about self-improvement, first and foremost. Now, before I begin to give some advice to anyone of the cancel culture, I would just like to aware you of the fact that we do have a new linen shirt. Looks like this. Boom. Yes, of course. Absolutely mail. aesthetic. So, Ooh. out now on legugloria.com. Check it out. First. I wonder, like, what dimensions do you need to get? You would have to have, like, especially, like, you see, on me, it, w it would look as if I was wearing some kind of a muumuu on my arms, because I don't think anyone has arms like that. So to be custom tailored, if, if, if you know, I mean, chat, chat, if you, if you want to send me one, I'll, I'll try it on. I'll, I'll wear the golden one's golden frock, okay? First link in the description box below, made in Lithuania. Good stuff. <laughs> no, that being said, I have some advice to Did, did he have to specify that? Because otherwise, if someone was like, is it made in Taiwan? He's like, no, it's a master race. Do not worry, Lithuania. One who, in whatever capacity, participates in the cancel culture. First and foremost, what you have to ask yourself is, how would it feel for you when the mob, when the cancel culture mob comes after you? Because you've said something that someone misinterpreted in some way it will probably not feel particularly good for you so think about that the next time you participate in some sort of cancelling of someone because they've said something bad instead contemplate take a deep breath reason like an individual instead of just going with a mob and ask yourself can i present an argument to this individual if you say no this is unreasonable, yeah, it might be a good idea to either not be part of the cancelling or say to others who are doing the actual cancelling, say, you know what, is this reasonable? I don't think it is. I'm saying stop. I mean, I, I, I gotta give it to him. This is more eloquent than the Harper letter. It makes way more sense than the Harper letter. I mean, he's like, he's he's being direct. There's There's no, like, he's not circling around the issue. It's basically just like, yeah, if someone wants to cancel you, uh, just talk to them directly. And uh, if you still need to cancel them, don't do it. And then just, just talk to other people and, and tell them not to do it either. So that's, that's pretty much it. So that is the first part. Now, the second part is I will give you some homework here. Mm. I encourage you to read up on the French Revolution, the Reign of Terror, and on Robespierre. You can just go to Wikipedia or whatever. I don't really... I, I was going to say, I would love to know. I would absolutely love to know what exactly is his pseudo history. Like, what are his sources on these things? You know, the French Revolution. It's a very short book. Not entirely sure who the uh, who the protagonists were, but uh, interesting. 
Yeah, the Nazis never cancelled anyone. So read up on those things and then ask, is this what we're doing now? This cancelling, this mob mentality attacks on someone who said whatever they've said, whatever innocent joke they've made, the whole mob comes at them. And again, don't think... Well, that's it, right? It's At worst, it's, a, it's an innocent joke. That's, that's the worst thing it could possibly be that you are special don't think that just because you are part of the mob that you're immune one day it might be you who says something you know that you will uh, take the heat for so just as robespierre a leader of the reign of terror during the french revolution he also got targeted in the end some poetic justice, I don't know. So keep that in mind for everyone who participates in uh, this sort of culture. The mob will come to you eventually as well. So stop promoting this sort of culture. No. So that's it. it. It's only a matter of time before the mob turns on you. So, you know, uh, let's just stop this before it just runs out of control. Because uh, you'll be next. I mean, no one's above the fray, all right? Uh, anyone who did want to, I don't know, scream the N-word. Well, I'm sorry, the, the harmless jokes. They, they are harmless jokes at the end of the day. So be careful or, or they'll come from you. On the other end of the spectrum, you can find me, the great yet so humble Primark. And I post physique and I distribute, I promote king culture. I promote, you know, good uplifting content i promote that you should try to improve yourself you uh, for anyone unfamiliar with this catalog he used to have skyrim playthroughs where he would just talk about the master race he used to be pretty pretty deeply invested in uh, you know i wouldn't call it uh, direct nazi propaganda but it, it was pretty close to just white nationalist ethno state icky stuff icky stuff great replacement stuff but in the realm of skyrim but it's okay the whole thing was jokes for the lulls because he wasn't actually talking about black people he was just talking about uh, you know the inferior race of the dark elves and of course you know the dark elves were the inferior race according to him so that's that's basically what it was it's, it's not it not, nothing to do at all with uh, you know there's there's no metaphors there's no allegories here you should encourage others to improve themselves as well so it's not about bullying it's not about being a mob attacking people it's about trying to lift each other up it's about sometimes giving some fair criticism saying you know what uh, these guys they promote drug use or whatever so therefore they are not our friends but it's these guys Hmm, interesting, interesting. I wonder wonder who he's talking about. It's ultimately about a positive force upward. It's not about pushing someone down. It's not a reign of terror where you're, where you're afraid to say the wrong thing. You're uh, afraid to read the wrong book. You're afraid to talk to the wrong person. So this is the cancel culture. We have the king culture, the self-improvement culture. <laughs> Well, this is good. I'm glad. No, he's made the distinction. We know the two, all right? So cancel culture is, of course, when uh, a whole bunch of people on the internet try to uh, dogpile on you and silence your free speech. But king culture is when you band together with your fellow, uh, let's just say, white knights, and then you decide to dogpile on someone and silence their ability to, to speak. But for different reasons, and one is good and one is bad. One one makes you a king. The other, the other is is cancel culture, where we are only trying to you know lift each other up and um, promote a positive worldview, a positive view of ourselves. Post physique, so that means that you've actually taken on board the good message and you try to you know give some advice to others. And instead of if you see someone struggling, you know a guy who has been through some bad stuff instead of just hammering it down on him saying how bad he is you know say okay it was not good what you did before but now you have a unique opportunity to just come with us to this sort of culture and you know improve yourself so anyway this was mainly a critique uh, of the cancel culture uh, it sounds like that's how he's going to be doing some recruiting by the way and then you you reach out to them and you tell them to to come over here please yeah we're we're the good side as long as you, are, of course, are white. Uh, no revolutionary insights in this video, I'm afraid. But I just wanted to have that said at least. So anyway, thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day. XXO, boom! <gasps> boom! Uh, he was really sad for a long time, by the way. He could never pass the 100,000 mark. Uh, he couldn't get 100,000 Nazis. Uh, to join him, but uh, he has since passed that. He's now 106,000, so the golden one, it took a very long time, it was a very slow climb, but the golden one, uh, he has he has risen. The longest Q&A video I've ever made, how to attract a good woman in the modern world. 
and settle down with someone she will of course look at as many factors as possible and if you portray yourself in a stable way yeah more likely to to be with um, a good woman and also in terms of practical measures you know portray yourself in a in a disciplined matter you know be well do you trained have a, do you have a be link well groomed brave, be well dressed a uh, be clean be friendly be polite uh, you know have confidence have charisma and solid relationships then also we can talk a bit about what you can look out for in a woman so uh, you know you have now said to yourself okay i will try to present myself in the best possible way i'll start working on my social game on my uh, goals in life on my physique and everything like that but then you also ask okay what kind of woman do i want and it's the same thing you know look for a woman who mirrors your um, ideals so things to look out for you know if she has an instagram for Eight example which wow on social media, that's wild see, snarky is she posting Good for him. Pictures of her drinking alcohol at some nightclub. Yeah, might Degenerate. not be the best uh, match Degenerate. for you if you are serious about you know, having a family. Um, and this is what this video is about. Maybe I should have said it in the beginning that we're mm. out for you know women to to have a family with. We're not out for any short-term relationships or anything yeah. like that no. uh, you know if you want to have short-term relationships etc this is not the channel for you uh, plenty of other channels who will talk about game and pick up and that sort of stuff it's not what i'm about at all um but anyway if you look at her and you see hey, she's hey, about you, Lemon Scorpio. that sort of life yeah maybe she's not a, a good match to to settle down with same thing you can look at her uh, her qualities so she can say that oh I'm a I'm a traditional woman and I am out for this and that and then you say okay do you like to cook and bake and she says no nah, I can't really do that because of whatever reason yeah she might not be the best um, option either because you know a wife should be able to nourish your children and if she can't cook uh, Got to nourish those children. She better have the breastuses. That's right, the mammary glands by which she can feed the nation. That's that's essence. She can't get. She can't make the best possible nutrition for your um, sons and daughters, mm -hmm. which is of Gotta course get those not a good uh, good thing at all. Then, of course, if you're a man, yeah, you should brief. know how to we'll cook as well. Time. But it's even more important for a uh, for a good woman how to. Uh, how to cook can she bake that's good also but the main thing is that can she make good nutritious meals if she can't even cook um yeah that's a warning bell in yeah. um yeah not a chat in my view at least so that's yeah. something to look out for then of course also um how is her health is she has she taken care of herself mm. um has she smoked half of her life um if she has okay why has she smoked uh, has she drunken a lot of alcohol yeah, not optimal either. You know, mm -hmm. a woman's body is also a temple. You know, if she wants to um, give birth to many healthy children, there it she is. can't have misused there it the is. body. There it is. Um, yeah. So that, that's, that's something you can... That, that's it. That's that's what this all comes down to. Will she provide nutrients to the kids that she will birth? Because again, she's a birthing vessel for me to impregnate. That's that's pretty pretty much the entire... That's the that's the whole trad wife racket in, in, you know, in a nutshell. You know, look at as well. Uh, is she fit, healthy, again comes into play. Uh, you can't have someone who has mistreated herself because mm -hmm. it's not good. Um, you know, self-explanatory, I don't need to talk more about that. Then another thing is to, you know, ask about her relationship with her family, especially with her father. Um, you know, again, uh, I feel a bit, that's, I feel a bit bad for- That's a good first date question. If if y'all haven't been on a, a first date, that's that's definitely one of the first things she's be. It's like, oh hey, what are you into? Oh, you know, I'm kind of kind of getting into uh, you know the paper mache. I've actually found it to be quite soothing in these troubling times. I'm like, oh, interesting, interesting. So so follow up question: um, Do you cry at night because of your father? And if so, can you cook? We're saying it because there are so many women who perhaps you know they've grown up without a father and they're good anyway but one thing you can at least keep uh, a lookout for is the relationship with their father 
uh, is it good then it's good if it's not good then it might be a good idea to you know um talk about it oh she's got to be a daddy's girl i get it that's it so then then she's prepared the eggs are ready for the harvesting what sort of friendship group does she have He's a good one. Um, does she have friends who are also Lemon Scorpio, for, thank you very much. Uh, the same sort of goal? Um, you know, getting a good husband and um, creating a family? Or are her friends more inclined to be out doing normie stuff, being out at nightclubs, etc.? Mm. Um, because women, of course, they follow, again, they follow the social setting to a higher extent. So. Her friends are important. Her friends and family are important. You are not only marrying uh, a woman, you're also marrying into her family. You're also marrying into a lot of different things. So understanding that makes it easier to make a, a rational decision um, when it comes to these things. So ladies, what I'm hearing is if you want to get yourself a golden one, and perhaps even the golden one, the goldenest of golden ones, if you want that, what you got to do is not have friends, uh, don't drink, don't smoke, uh, hopefully you're really good at cooking, and ideally you just want to stay home all the time. Like you are just ready to be a domestic bang maid. So that's basically it, right? Uh, can you be a maid? And can you also uh, be bangable and, and produce offspring? As many offspring as the golden one so decrees. And if if you can do those both, you may land yourself a golden one, you know? Just play your cards right. Ideally, ideally, uh, you have not, uh, you know, destroyed your sacred temple in any way. So don't don't worry about that one, okay? So let's just, let's just think about that. Then also, of course, you should always have your good friends at hand and you should listen to their advice. And they can say, to you if this is a good match or not because it's quite often quite common for guys to you know some guys they're weak uh, mentally uh, so they are being very easily led by women so they fall in love or they have some sort of you know crush on a woman and then they act all um, all um, not in the most rational way, so to speak. Then it's good if you have... I gotta admit, though, he has definitely PC'd the way he speaks down a ton. Do you see how he always starts the subject and you're like, oh my god, he's about to say the thing? And then he'll be like, but you knew what I'm talking about. And then it'll just, like, it'll trail off. But it'll always be like, uh, does she have friends? Does she drink? Does she go clubbing? Well, you know what that means, all right? Is she willing to stay at home and, and birth your children until the end of time? Well, you know what that means. That's good. That's good. Have good friends who can point you, who can steer you, you in to the hit right that direction. Say like, okay, no, this is not a, a woman you can have a long-term relationship with. Just because you feel a, a physical attraction to her doesn't mean it's good in the long term. So then it's also good to listen to your mates uh, and let them have a say in whichever woman you um, wish to proceed with. So, yeah, a lot of things to keep in mind. A lot of... Uh, it's a lot of food for thought, ladies. Hopefully every single one of you is prepared to give the golden one the eggs. To our monarch. Thomas Bone, you are the light that guides our path. To our lords, I'm Rath, Steven, Nine Tails Cosmic Fox, and Hans Josephine. We bow meekly for your pleasure. To our knights of the round table, Josh Mickelson, Dylan Bythe, Alexander Thaler, Zach Christensen, Todd Buckingham, Todd Lajeunesse, Clement Chutscott, Sky Bear Games, Mosby, Political Puppy, Alan R, Andreas Chitoro, Good Poon hates cops, that's solid Poon then, we salute you. And to all our merchants and farmers, we have our undying loyalty and love. 